Simply 3045 applied on PU280, that's the reason for the pink color to see it better if you apply it on PU280. To make sure that you apply a, a closed film all over to assure that a leveling compound will stick to that. But also the same thing to see it also, I remember I asked the same question, why is it pink? I understand that on PU280, which is grayish, bluish, makes sense to uh, have something which you definitely see. But they also told me then, yeah, we did some research and figure out that a big portion of the tiles that are in installed are white, whitish or marble. In that case, you also will see it very well. Because that's when the next uh, point comes, can also be for sure applied on tiles. Prio, you apply your leveling compound for LVT installation. And yes, you have to clean your tiles to make sure that you do not have any other uh, residues of, uh, I don't know, maintenance products or waxes, whatever you or with whatever the tiles were cleaned before you are doing that next step. And also correct, you should also make sure that you create on that tile some visible scratches before you apply. If you use a buffer, if you use a grinder, whatever you use, but most important, really clean the tiles. Make sure that there are no residues anymore of boxes on maintenance products because simple if you would go with a primer on top on a non-clean tile if you want it like that you would put the primer on on the maintenance product and there is no connection to the tile so that's why make sure that you can clean it what you would use for cleaning for sure we have the right product therefore but use something aggressive to make sure that all residues are away and then you're safe then you can keep going and do the next step and also here you see quite simple to have in mind half an hour to 45 minutes of curing time and also consumption around 150. Once again, it could be also a little bit more depending how the uh, surface is done. Nice thing on that, if you apply more, the only bad thing is you have to wait a little bit longer. You remember Pew 280, less is more. Here you also do not need three kilo per square meter, just need longer to cure. There you should send if you apply too much. And once again, blocking up to 98% in half an hour per coat, and then you can do, you block moisture the same day and prepare the subfloor for leveling compound. And give them another half an hour and you can put your leveling compound on the floor. This is in one day, all of these things. For sure, if you got 10,000 square meter, maybe not all in one day, <laughs> but uh, at the end, if you got a 200, 100, 200 square meter job, it's easy to prepare everything and still, actually, we are not ready with preparing of the subfloor. Still, all these steps you are doing before, before breakfast on a job site. Because if you apply the slutty primer, you need a half an hour, then you can have some breakfast. So it's just, honestly, this is, sounds crazy, but this is exactly how you would do it on a job site as well. You go there, maybe you send the subfloor, you vacuum, then apply depending what kind of primer. And if it's uh, a Pew 280 where I need to put two coats, when I finish the first, I can start directly with the next one, then the 3 or 45, and then I will have some, uh, some breakfast. Half an hour breakfast, I don't know how it is here. How much time do you have on the job site for breakfast? Two hours. Two hours, oh, great, I will move to South Africa. <laughs> and then you can do the next step. So also here, application-wise, really the slutty primer, now I like this word. I hope that everybody else worldwide can do something with slutty primer when I'm uh, traveling around. I will call it sl slutty primer. <laughs> if you want, you want to try? That's okay. No, ah, I was sure you don't want. <laughs> so you see, it's really, really economic. That's all you need. And now you would ask me, how thick can I go on that? There is actually no limitation how thick I can put my leveling compound on top, as long as it's cured. Oh, but, what you say? If you put it too, too thick, it's worse. Uh, no, I don't mean, I mean the leveling compound then later on. But also here, correct. If you put more than, uh, like, actually like this, this is a perfect way. It's simply waste. If you, or if it will happen because things happen sometimes, then you have to wait simply longer. That's the only thing you have to do. Leveling compound or also repair compound or even a screed can be applied up to five centimeters. It can be actually also more applied, but I did not 
hurt more than this five centimeters because it doesn't make any sense at the end. Here and there, if there is a hole or something, then it's fine. I heard also once from somebody who did 10 centimeters, but only in some spots because there were some big hollows. So it is fine with that. But I think, especially when we are talking about self level, oh, not self leveling, smoothing compound and leveling compound. What is the average? Two to five millimeters, the average. Here and there you have to put also sometimes 10 millimeters, but I think the normal average for a smoothing compound is not higher than, let's say, three to six millimeter in average. Correct me if I'm wrong. Once again, for exception, here and there you have to put more, but in general, we are talking about three to six millimeters.